dun 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 da da it's time for a scroller box this is the october scroller box and i can't wait to see what it is because normally october is a good month and i'm seeing a lot of purple which i was not expecting normally october is ink and ink is normally black first off i've got a kneaded eraser in a very cute little box that i can not open why is this so hard? Oh my god. I seriously can't open it. Hello? Oh my god, okay. Oh. Okay, that box is too hard to open, but we've got a very cute little kneaded eraser. Next up, a paint pen by Derwent. Our candy, which is purple. An enamel pin? Ah, oh, I love enamel pins! I guess this is the 50th scrawler box? So this is a special pin specifically for this box. That's so cool! That's going right on the board, and it's going right front and center. Our sticker and our menu, which I will put aside and look at later. Then in our bag of goodies, we've got a pencil by Faber-Castell, and this looks to be a set of Copic markers? And is this drawn with Waffles as art? It is. Of course, oh, this box makes so much sense now. Waffles loves to use Copics and alcohol markers. Our paper, which is very thick, by Canson. Unfortunately, this is the only time I'm gonna ever be sad about receiving Copics, but I already own all these colors, but they are. BV04, 0.3 millimeter multi liner in the color wine, and a Spica pink glitter pen. The last time I've used one of these glitter pens, it was underwhelming to say the least. Just gonna put the art front and center so that I can be inspired while drawing today. And it looks like the challenge is dressed to the nines, so I'm gonna have to think of something well dressed. These are the two that I just received. The light one I actually use almost all the time for shading, and then the two in my right hand are the ones that I own, <laughs> and I will be honest, the darker of the two swatches darker than it looks, so I don't use it that often. On one side we've got the fabled brush nib, which Copics are famed for, and on the other side we've got the chisel tip. And I will be honest, the Spica pen is actually working so well. The last time I used one of these, it was essentially clear, and there was just the tiniest hint of sparkles. This is good paper, it's not bleeding through, and I am trying very hard to blend just to make sure that I can get a bit of a range with these two colors, but they are pretty different, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a very smooth gradient. And the paint pen is a paint pen. It's actually a pretty good one. So for Dress to the Nines, I'm thinking something fancy. I'm thinking something with big hair, a bouffant perhaps. And I'm immediately not liking what I've drawn, so I'm going to take this kneaded eraser, which is erasing splendidly. Try again. Try to use the paler one as a lipstick and for the hair color. And I like the idea of using the darker one with the paint pen for the flowers. These two I'm liking the best, but I'm not sure. I think I want to try and draw a little bit in my sketchbook, 
see if I can come up with something a little bit more interesting. So just start with the head. And then I'm wondering about changing up the hairstyle a bit. So instead of a big poofy bouffant, I'm thinking maybe have long hair but keep it very straight. And I'm wondering if I could just use the pale color, the BV00, for her skin tone and leave her hair white and use the darker color for clothing, which is not normally the path I would have gone down. So I'm trying to figure out what I want her outfit to look like. I know I wanted to have a very tight dress. I want to go in with the paint pen at the end and add a bunch of stars and sparkles. I think I want it to flare out at the bottom in one of those trumpet dress situations, a trumpet skirt. I'm liking it being asymmetric. I just want to try really quick, I'm liking the hairstyle I've got, but I just quickly want to see what would happen if I gave her something a little more swooshy. And yeah, I'm immediately not liking this as much. I think for this character, we're going to keep her hair very straight and very long. I struggled quite a bit with what pose to give her, and eventually I decided to have her sitting down, and I immediately loved this idea. And so I quickly closed my sketchbook, considered drawing on the back of my page that I already had doodled on, decided at the last minute, no, I wanted to draw on a new piece of paper, and then I got to work trying to recreate the pose. And I immediately realized that I had drawn her too big, and this quickly became an upper body portrait as opposed to a full body. Now I'm gonna have to ask everybody to not judge me for A, how much I'm struggling with the hands, and B, and then once I was satisfied with my sketch, I started to go over it with the Wine Red Multi-Liner, and I love using colored multi-liners to do my line work. I've discovered that using a black multi-liner feels a little bit too harsh a lot of times, and it feels very final, whereas using a different color like a sepia or a dark purple or this beautiful wine color, I don't feel as constricted, which is weird to say about an art supply, but I found this with inking in Photoshop too. A lot of times I'll ink in a different color and then change it to black or a darker color at the end because just inking in black feels like you can't undo that line. Since I was really enjoying myself and I was really looking forward to playing with these Copics, I took my time on this piece and I am so happy I did because I think she turned out very cute. And then at the end I went through and erased all of my pencil lines with the kneaded eraser and then I started to go in with the lighter of the two markers, the BV00 and I'm trying to lay down an even layer so I don't get streaks, even though this is a very new and juicy marker. 
and then I would start going over it a few more times just to add some depth to her skin. I don't normally make skin a pale purple, but I did enjoy this a lot and I definitely would like to play around more with different skin colors. I normally default to a mint colored skin, but purple is uh, pretty fun to do. I then took the Spica and I decided that I wanted to do her makeup with this, so I did her lipstick and her eyeshadow, and then I was just very impatient and I started going in with the paint pen just to add a little bit of shine here and there. And then, similar to how I had done her skin, I started going in with the darker of the two purples, and like I said, the color that comes out does not match the cap in any way, shape, or form. It is so much darker and more saturated than the cap, but I diligently started to fill in her dress, immediately realizing how much time it was going to take because I gave her a lot of dress. I struggled for a bit with wanting to give her a belt, and so that's why I left a place blank intentionally. And upon realizing that there was no way to do this without getting streaks, I started to section off the skirt and just color it in section by section. And then I go over the sections a couple of times just to get this as dark as possible so that I can have as much contrast between the skin as I can. Going back in with the paint pen to start adding in the star details. And I will say this is one of the better paint pens that I've used. I really like how opaque this was. And it didn't fade too much over time. It didn't absorb into the Copics, which was wonderful. And then I decided that I wanted her to be sitting on something, so using the page of my previous drawing, I decided to make a little stool for her, and then I just started to freehand some decorations, and I definitely should have sketched it in first because it's a little bit off, a little bit wonky, but I do think it added a nice touch to the piece. Then I got to work coloring in the clouds that I wanted in the background, and this took a while to do. It was a lot of background. <laughs> I originally wanted the whole background to be this pretty dark purple color, but I knew that that was going to compete too much with the dress, so I opted for the lighter purple for the cloud area, and I used the darker purple for the night sky. So I have the lighter color down low and the darker color up high, just to try and keep a little bit of contrast between the skin tone and the, the skin tone, between the pale and dark colors. It is a lot of fun to make art with a limited color palette. These purples together are a pretty good combo. Again, it's a color I use almost all the time for shading, but never on its own, and a color I literally never use, so... Overall, I had a ton of fun, and I highly recommend this color set. If you like purples, and you don't have a lot of Copics, or you want to expand your set, this was a very nice box. This is probably one of my favorite boxes. But I hope everybody has a good evening, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!